there, ghosts and ghouls. Warlock Boo here. And I have a question for you. How many of you have been on road trips? How many of you have had to stop at a rest stop or a welcome center? <clears throat> you know those places. They're a little dingy usually. Some are really nice, but you can stop to get a drink, a snack, go to take a piss in a dirty, nasty bathroom, and get some information at, about what the state has or a map. All of us have had to stop there at least once in our road tripping lives. Maybe not for the best of reasons. But have you ever felt uncomfortable in one? Not because it's dirty or nasty or the guy in the stall next to you is making weird noises. But it's for some other reason you couldn't explain. Well, this story may give you that reason. May give you a little information for next time. This is The Rest Stop by The Ridiculous. Enjoy. All right, so I'm not someone who's into the paranormal or the supernatural. I don't believe in ghosts, monsters, aliens, or anything like that. However, I have to write about what happened to me last week because I honestly don't know how to explain it. I work in the sales department for a large company, and I'm frequently required to travel. When I have to go out of town for business, I almost always drive. I've always loved road trips, and I really enjoy the time alone. It's just me, some music, greasy fast food, and the open road. When I'm on a long trip, I usually sleep in a hotel somewhere in the daytime and drive at night. There aren't as many people on the road, and there's less chance of getting a ticket for speeding. It was during my last road trip that I experienced something strange, and it was the scariest thing that ever happened to me. I was driving through Texas along Interstate 40. I had left Armoro and was planning to drive through Albuquerque to Flagstaff. Sometime around 1 a.m. ish, I drove through a small town in Texas called Glenry. Glenry seemed to either be completely closed down at this time of night or it was a total ghost town. About 10 miles later, there was a rest stop. As you can expect, it was just your typical dirty rest stop with a few vending machines and a restroom. I figured I'd pull in, use the restroom, maybe grab a candy bar and a soda from one of the machines, continue along the interstate. First of all, there weren't any other cars parked at the rest stop, which isn't unusual outside a small town at this time of night. I parked my car and headed for the restroom. The restroom was dirty, dimly lit, with those stainless steel toilets. There was graffiti on the walls and along the mirrors, and that usual gross smell that's unique to rest up bathrooms. There was nothing more unusual or strange about it than any other restroom you'd see at any other rest stop in America. I stood in front of the one of the urinals to do my business, and that's when I started hearing a strange noise. It sounded like laughter, but kind of gargled, almost like someone was laughing from underwater. I don't know how else to explain it. It wasn't a loud laughter, more of a chuckle. It was only for a moment, and then it stopped. Like I said, I'm a very rational person, so I didn't think much of it. I thought it was probably just a plumbing issue or something. Just before I had finished doing my business, I heard it again, only it was louder. This time, just a gargled laugh. The bathroom had several stalls, and like I said, it was dimly lit. The sound was coming from the stall furthest down. The stall's door was closed, and it was the stall with the least amount of light, rendering it almost completely dark. Hello, I said. As soon as I spoke, the sound stopped again. Is there anyone in there? Are you all right? There was another sound, almost like someone dragging their feet. Then, there was silence. I bent down so I could see underneath all the stalls. Now, like I said, there wasn't much light illuminating that particular bathroom stall, but I could tell there was no one in there. I shrugged and went to wash my hands before heading back out to my car. Just as I was drying my hands, I heard a creak. I never turned around, but behind my reflection in the mirror, I could see the door to the dark stall slowly creaking open. What I saw instantly filled me with the worst sense of dread I've ever experienced. It looked like a man, but I knew it wasn't. The stall door had opened only 
just the crack, and I could see half of its face. It had a smile too large for its face. Sharp yellow teeth, dark black eyes like a doll's, and no nose. It was almost gray in color, with patches of dirty black hair. I just stared at the thing, and it laughed again. The laugh was different this time. It sounded, sounded how the devil must sound if he were to laugh. I ran out of the bathroom like a bat out of hell. With that horrible laughter following me the whole time, I didn't stop and look back and see if that thing followed me out of the bathroom until I got to my car. I was alone in the parking lot. Whatever it was, never came after me. I continued my drive, and the rest of my trip was fine. I just made it back home yesterday and thought maybe it would help me make sense of the thing if I wrote it down. Like I said, I'm a rational person. I don't believe in the paranormal or supernatural. If you're driving through Lernerville, Texas, don't stop at any rest stops. Just to be safe. So, my spooks, that's something we can all get a laugh out of. <laughs> oh, whatever. So, what do you think? What you think the creature was? Was it going to skin him alive like some of the Japanese bathroom demons? Or did it just really need some toilet paper and had been in there too long? Me? I haven't got a clue. Most people run when they see me in bathrooms, too. But, but that's kind of obvious why. I'm annoying. But what do you guys think? Did you like the story? Did you not? Me? I think it's a good one. But leave me a comment on what you think. And like, don't forget to like and subscribe. It would help me a lot. This is Warlock Boo saying I hope to be spooking y'all later. Bye. I found you! Oh! Oh! Ah!